Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. Hey guys, we are back for another game of the Western Conference games. As you're all tuning in for the last game, this was a tough matching in between the Grizzlies and for the Timberwolves. Because now, Grizzlies have already made the two streaking wins here over against the Minnesota Timberwolves here at Minneapolis. This is like the hardest game that we have ever seen it before, right guys? Yeah, of course they are. Most of the time, they could be very difficult challenging by those teams. And I expect there might be somebody who can definitely show up for our next one. It can be very tricky. I always know that the Grizzlies have some high, higher average here. Number two's teams, they are on a roll. But right now, this is the next hard matchup that we are about to see. The Suns and the Pelicans, the number one seed team against the number eight seed. This can be a little bit challenging if there's a, if there's a chance for the Pelicans to knock things down and get right into it with another chance of increasing the score runs to try to work them all. And because of me, the, the only team that we've only have seen before was the was Devin Booker. They've already got some great higher average here and they might be going for another one. But there's a chance for them to keep an eyes on. And now let's take you down to New Orleans as we start the presentation of the NBA playoffs. Of course, I'm looking downtown in New Orleans. It's where everyone gets things right back on the line. The Pelicans and the Suns are in the locker room, and they are ready to spruce things up. Suns, Pelicans, next on 2K Sports of the NBA Playoffs. And we are back here in New Orleans as we are about to start the fourth game. It's been an outstanding presentation as right now we have David Aldrich on the sideline report taking it from the side. David, what do you have here? Thank you, Kevin. Well, Mikel Bridges is a big part of the Suns' growth into a powerhouse. Coach Monty Williams said it was a two-way swing man. I believe he has every intangible talent and quality to be a glue guy in that starting lineup. Kel has an edge to him. Guys respect the heck out of him because he competes every day. Kevin, I compete every time you throw it down to me. He's ready to compete. He's ready for anything. Thank you, David. Of course, right now, we've got some great average here because of all players have already got, gotten crushed on the board. They're ready for everything. Of course they do, because all the players are just gotten a great solution here. They practice, they warm up, they've got all number of skills. Ingram and Devin Booker are your key matchups in the shooting guard position. And this is where it comes down to the to win or or go home for the Pelicans. That is right, because if they don't have any of his courage here, they're not going to succeed at well. Suns wins the tip off, and we're all fueled up for the fourth game of the game. Wow, Aiden has already gotten a great crushing run in the paint. They got some good average here for Chris Paul here for tonight. That's because of what they have done to you so far. They got a lot of working ability to make the drive even more come true. Rebounded by Aiden as the great D is putting up on CP3. Now here's McCall Bridges. He passes off to Paul. Crowder with the screen, inside, drive in the paint. And it's another two-pointer for Chris Paul. He is like all, on the killer board here in the night. He is all excellent to move the transition. McCollum against Paul. Inside the paint, 
and he goes off the board. As rebound is picked up by CP3. Now Devin Booker over Ingram, and in one counts! And a foul is on Ingram. His first and first team foul on New Orleans. Devin Booker, even showing up for his son. This all had turned out to be an easy call here on the foul. But what happened here? Well, it's because of what they have done. The, the Suns are shooting their first free throws here in game four as it, the clock stops at 4-1 remaining. And Devin Booker hits the free throw. And you look at his contract here, because if Devin Booker really has shown his Murphy credit, he is all that he has brought things out. An outstanding run and performance of the year. CJ McCollum hits the first uh, first bucket in for, for, for the first bucket of the fourth game. What an incredible run. He was showing for CJ McCollum for himself. He is the only man that can stop the pressure and bring things on the board. Back and over is Bridges. Screen again, rejects it away, six to shoot, and in over Valanchunas, gets blocked, and he has got nowhere to left, but he has still have some room to finish a drive. Well, it's because of what they have done here, because of DeAndre Ayton has a, has a bunch of a little bit more room here before he stepped out of bounds. So that's a great average for him to try to stop the player on the man average. McCollum right to Valanchunas. Six to shoot. McDet McCollum over Del Paul. It's off and born, and it's rebounded by Booker. Paul in the other lane, going back to Bridges. Backs it up the paint. Over McCollum. The drive from Bridges is no good. That's up because of the defense has really got picked up the strength here. They may have more room to go by. And it's right now a best running effort here to put up another dunk of CJ McCollum with a dunk drive. They've got some good players here. What a stop. Devin. Another bucket for Devin Booker. He's receiving six points in this game. CJ McCollum against Paul. Screen taken over by Valanciunas. Spin move. And it's off target again. Now two minutes left here for the first quarter. Wow, Crowder got a great uh, piece of that one as Booker takes the assist. Booker's got some uh, got some good uh, players to keep uh, eye contacts. They now wanted to have more focus on the attack. Ingram slam it down and what a road he pulled up. And it's uh, Hayes with the assist. Brandon Ingram. I'm pretty sure that uh, he is going right in toward the drive. He was a stoppable player in the yard. Bridges for three. Ritz rebounded again by Mal McCollum. Trying to help out for Valanchunas. That's a great help here on offense because what they have done here is they wanted to put one ball, give it to the player, without losing control. Aliou unsuccessful for the Pelicans. And Paul coming inside and go up. Aiden can't make that alley oop as another failure puts up on Phoenix too. Yeah, because one on one is only the uh, only the man average here. They gotta like set things up here to try to go over the place. McCollum might to over Paul. It's rebounded again by Aiden. Here's Paul. Phoenix lead by seven. He goes in and he slams Duncan. He was. Bent a bit right when he comes down on the court. It's a little bit of a weird angle. Oh, be careful because of what, what Devin Booker really has. He can get twisted up in the knee from the Cavs. 30 seconds left for the first period. Jones against Bridges. He finds Hayes. Alan Junis back to Jones. Five to shoot. With a three deep. Off of Valanciunas, puts it back, and it's Valanciunas for the first bucket in game four. Great help here. A lot of average can be a tough rounding making. Five seconds, Paul against McCollum. With the buzz beater, it's good for Paul. 
And now we'll end the first quarter, 17 to 8. They've got a lot of higher average here for the Phoenix Suns for tonight. It's now a nine point lead. We'll be right back with the second quarter coming up after this. Anything, uh, whether it's business, work, relationships, whatever, it's communication. And I think that's something that we're doing an amazing job of right now. That's communicating, talking through things, and making sure, even when it gets tough, that we continue to communicate. Sometimes what Chris Paul has really done for himself is what, like, the only man for him, yeah, he knows his secret here because of importance with his teaming, it can be very tricky. But my, my personal time, it can be for Chris Paul, they can be definitely ready to face for anything. And we all start for the second quarter. I'm glad you joined us here for today as we are have some new changes here for the Suns and for the Pelicans. Here's Shamit in the wing. I scored a couple of them, and JaVale McGee in, in the corner. Wow, what a scoop around, and it's JaVale McGee hitting the first two here in the fourth game. And not to talk about JaVale McGee, he only knows he's, his average here comes up with a better timing, and a moment ability can be a little bit hard challenging after playing with the Denver Nuggets. Alvarado gets swept. And he just couldn't find himself with a drive. Payne with the first rebound as there are changes for rebounds in between Phoenix and New Orleans. That was going to be seven rebound take here for, for, uh, for the Suns to try to pick them way up. They had a lot of higher average here that they have played. And for all the that, it was just a hard makeable run. McGee with the rebound and back to Shaman he goes. Craig right back in the middle. Holding a screen could be on Johnson. Craig finds it anywhere, and his first foul is on Murphy. 17 foul is released on Nola, and it will be adding another two free throws for Phoenix. Craig is at the free throw line going to shoot two. Tory Craig, he's not the only man who really wants to like be alone here. But to follow him, he might have been he might be pushing up his way further. Craig can't hit the first free throw. Only new change has been given up here as Temple will be checking in for Alvarado. And for Temple, for himself, he has already gotten some uh, greater average here, but he has already been playing here. Sometimes in a huge, uh, huge making, it may be a lot that much better to make the attack go. And second free throw for Craig is up and in. Here's Graham. Only have scored a couple in the last two games here at Phoenix. Graham pass to Hernan Gomez. Six to shoot. Temple in the paint. Around paint. Good drive. And it's now Temple with the first bucket. Hernan Gomez has gotten a great average here to find an open man. The open man can be a little bit challenging. Might be a lot of great ire on the, on the ball game. While the fighting is picked up as Payne holds on. McGee back to Craig. Shaman in the wing, five to shoot. He goes up, three pointer is off. McGee at the Lucas the rebound and he says, all for one, all one for all. That's what he goes for. Murphy back to Graham. Back to Renan Gomez. Murphy on Craig. 2.21 remaining in the first half of the period. Graham on Shamit. He steps back. Three pointer went off and a shot clock is on the Pelicans. This will be the first turnover released in here on Pelicans. And now the five changeups are being occurred as McGee is checked out. And all five players with starting lineups come back in. And for Pelicans, they only keep Temple on the ball. 
Jones, Ingram, Valachunas, and CJ McCollum are still checking in. Booker on Temple. Screen on Aiden. Just about two minutes left here for the first half of the game. Back to Aiden. Shoots over Temple, and another basket drive goes up for Aiden. He has now 17 for this season. This all turns out to be DeAndre Aiden because this is the only tall man he had played. McCollum delivers a number two. They are still trying to gain up momentum here. They really do. Paul finds Aiden. He goes inside. That's a great pass by Chris Paul as he gets his first assist here in the game in game four. And Aiden with eight points. Ingram on Crowder. Back to McCollum. 1.15 remaining in the first half of the period. Trying to loose up. And with the two. It's off the bound. It's Aiden with the rebound. Well, those players for the Pelicans are not even picking up so far because what they've done here, they've already given average here for the players. And what happened to here is most of the time, because what they have uh, really uh, tried to, try to like uh, keep the pressure alive, but it looks like they're losing control because it's on a meltdown. Breakdown can be also a, another option here too. That's because of what they have done. They couldn't start uh, figuring out the players on open drives. Valentin is on eight in. Holds him back. Now call him outside. Two points. Missed again. And once again, they couldn't find it back for the Pelicans. Well, that's because of DeAndre Ayton has already gotten a great defense. A communicator really knows his secret. Bridges on Jones. In a spin move. In and out. Valanciunas with the ball. Five seconds to shoot. Jones, Temple. With the buzz beater. It is up. It's now 28 to 12. First half is closed. We'll be right back with the second half to start the beginning of the third quarter. This is a very toughest game here. That's because of all Pelicans are really having hard times because Suns have a higher average here to clinch their way to the, East, to the finals back again. Well, let's see how well they do. But first, let's have the recap tape for the fourth game in a row. Time reports are on the board. That is it for right now. Let's send you back to new NOLA for the third quarter to start of the second half. Welcome back to Smoothie King Center as we're about to start the third quarter. It's 28 to 12 in the last couple of seconds of this game for the first half. This has been a tough work beat. Even DeAndre Ayton have already been a best player in a non-defenseman. B is just a killer. He really knows his way to just get right around it, but sometimes he knows it for sure. But he just always gives him what he got. But maybe at that time it could be very challenging for his idea. And glad you have you join us here for that game. He is like he's on a streak here. He's putting up so much rebounds here. They could be heading their way to the uh, to the Western Conference Championship game if they face on against the winning team in the final two of the Western Conference. Here's Paul, only scored for his uh, couple of decent uh, decent points that he has. 28 to 14 is the score right now. Bridges outside. He covers up his screen by Ian. Back to Paul, just six to shoot. Aiden back to Paul with the open look, and he has it all through. Aiden has gotten the assist, and number two pointer for Paul. This all turns out to be for him. Chris Paul is all for everything that he has just done so far. His power pointing average is increasing. Ingram against Crowder. Four minutes to go in the third. Bounce pass, tipped away by Aiden. 
Bridges all alone. Paul outside in the corner. He goes back and he wants to restart it from the top. Booker back to Ian. Paul inside, just five to shoot. Should they have to need to get some shots here? And Crowder hits the three ball. It's Paul with the assist. CP3 on the roll again. He's like on the roll. <laughs> well, that's for him for a night. He's an amazing killer. As for another turnover is being increased on Pelicans, a new changeup is being occurred. Five players are checked in. Five players checked out for the starting lineups. Here's Payne, only scored his first rebound. He has gotten his first rebound of the game. Johnson back to McGee, roll to Payne. On McGee, look out below, McGee slams the dunk. And he has a number two pointer average score. Oh, JaVale McGee, just gotta like keep the eyes of pressure here. And he's just all whomping around a bit. A number two basket for Hernan Gomez, he's going for another one. 2.48 to play in the third quarter. Payne against Alvarado. Screen on McGee. Inside. Unable to carry with two for Payne as he gets off target. Alvarado on Chapman. He finds Dance Jr. Inside the paint. And it's tipped off, but he holds it on with the ball. Johnson still has Larry Nance Jr. Wow, what a great average of a D. And he goes off again, Graham for three. Good, and it's now a three-pointer for Graham. This is all that turned out to be just like Graham did. They are all over a rebound. Oh, McGee did this one again. He's on eight points tonight. Graham against Ryan's Larry Nance Jr. Back to Alvarado. Alvarado spins across right around Payne. And he loses the ball. He lost the ball and he couldn't be able to hold on. Shaman inside. That will be his first bucket for tonight. And it's Craig with the assist. His average for seasons is only 27.4 average here and just like 20. They're all over the place here. They're just putting up an average rebounds. Murphy outside in the wing. Back to Hernan Gomez. Swoops inside and he goes for the drive. Hernan Gomez picks up a number two. That's four points in a row. Three rebounds and two out of three field goals. Timeout called by Phoenix Suns. They've got some uh, they got a great scoring in between. And now the Suns are gonna have to fix things on offense to go with a number look. And with all they know, it's just how everybody loves, including the peer of Pelican the mascot. He's like uh, all, all flying and soaring, but might be seeing them for next season because uh, because they might have a, may have some new players here. They might be ready to go off season and then practice their way before the next season of 2022 to 23 begins for the next Courage. Yeah, they got some good average out there. I think there might be uh, they might be looking for some new players here to play with the the Pelicans at that time. But if some players want wants to get traded off from the upper teams, they might be going from here. And sometimes for the Phoenix Suns, they already have enough players. They have higher average of a franchise. Well, this is all they have. And a new changes are being released here for the Suns and Pelicans. They also known as the Crescent City, if you see it on the blimp. Yeah, I know. Well, I don't know, it's like a crescent moon out there. Impressive. Paint against Alvarado. Under a minute left to play in the third quarter. Goes inside. McGee! Awesome feed by Cameron Payne. And he has his assist down. One down, and he, he's got a lot more to go. Phoenix are working their way around a bit here on offense and defense. Here's Graham, covered by Booker. And McGee has it out. Inside Murphy, and a foul is on Booker. Right now, the Pelicans are adding their free throws here for the third quarter of the second half. 
Devin Booker really gotten into a hard timing out there. Might be on the on a lookout that they have already played. But they really got somewhere going in between the zones. Murphy gets the first free throw. And for Murphy, he might be able to hold on for himself and could be going back in again. Aiden and Paul are checked in for Payne and McGee. As all four players checked out, four players checked in, Ingram, Jones, Temple, and Graham moves over to point guard. The second free throw for Murphy is no good. Only one out of two for Murphy. Crowder finding a woo. He finds Johnson. Back to Paul. Aiden with the screen. Paul in the paint. And he's rejected. Oh my goodness. Aiden says, I'm coming for you. And he has gotten some dumps here. Saved his life already. Almost about to be a wacky, wacky bum. Ten seconds left for the third quarter. Ingram against Crowder. Looking in. With a pullback. No good. Rebound by Graham. And it's still off target. The third quarter is closed. Only one quarter remains here in the fourth game. And this could be the end for the Pelicans to finish their season. Because all of that... The Suns got some higher average. We'll be right back after this break from your local NBA news, right around the corner. And with a moment now, it's time to present the State Farm Assist of the Game. I'm glad that the, the player that we all called for the Phoenix Suns is that McGee got a great deliver here from Cameron Payne. All he knows is, is that he knows a way to get in there in time. But Payne, he knows his way. He's got great scores. Fourth quarter is about to start, and we are all fueled up for the one last time. Here's Paul. Only he has gotten some great solutions here to go right from head to head to, to hit their, right back in their lane. Oh, my. Aiden just slams the dunk, and another assist just goes keeps coming again on Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder in between the lineup here and the attack row. It looks like Ian is like a like a work on. Jones against McCall Bridges. He finds Valentunas. Over again. He makes it a layup. And he just picks up another two. Now here's Paul. CJ McCollum on him. Passes off to Booker. Booker backs him up, passes to Bridges. McCall for two, in and out, and Aiden has it all covered. He's a work on like he's jamming in before. Yeah, he's tall to make some shots here. I guess he's the ultimate rebounder, but puts him up a save. McCollum finds Ingram. Screen on Valanciunas. Ingram works around to Jones. The Pelicans are finding a man open advantage. Three to shoot. Jones over Brooker. And he makes good to go. Another two for Pelicans. Jones is keeping it going. Jones just really wanted to give him another try. Maybe that time. It may be a, maybe a hard way to go in between. Crowder can't make the free throw here with the with a layup drive. Ingram on Booker. Finds the ice. Hayes, he's fouled. And Jay Crowder has his first personal, first team foul on Phoenix. They stop the clock at 3.07 remaining. And right now, Hayes will have to shoot at the free throw line to go for another average of a free throwing average here for New Orleans. The Pelicans are really uh, trying to execute their, uh, their next position. They really need to get going right in the uh, in the next average to keep it alive again and again, just like Murphy did. First free throw for Hayes is good. 
He's quiet so far, but looks like he might be uh, going for another two if he wants to get right back into it. And coming up later will be the next matchup. The Bucks and Cavaliers back in the Eastern Conference matchups here as he will have the third game ready for action here after this game. So if you're tuning in on my channel, we will be taking a, taking a short break, reset our courtesies, and we will be back here again. Now remember, tomorrow will be happening here for the Eastern Conference matchups of the Bulls and Sixers, Raptors and Celtics, and a third game increasement, the Nuggets and Warriors. Yeah, we could definitely add that one to your game. That might be a good idea. Interesting to me. Oh, Ingram! Look the jam and goes right to the brain of the paint. He's like a only walk-on one guy. He he's like a he's like a huge man, but he knows his way through. Paul against McCullum. Inside A and oh he scoops around! He revenges on the player! And Chris Paul receiving another assist. The Suns got some great eye, eye up or energetic here to make them play and pay them what they have. And another miss three for McCollum. Call on Crowder. Back to Bridges. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter. And it's 49-30. Call, look at that three-pointer. He is a top maker. Ball is like only man himself for him tonight. He knows his rule. The next timeout is called by the New Orleans Pelicans with only under two minutes to play in the fourth quarter. So if you're tuning in for the uh, part two of the Inanime Insanity Invitational, it will be out here at the end of the month. So make sure to subscribe because the voting won't be open once it's all finished. And yes, thank you for everyone who's joining in for the live stream. We, we definitely appreciate your support. I'm pretty sure that it can be very difficult for me to make the changes. And sometimes for me, hey, uh, I, don't, I don't think I may not be able to make the live stream. I got some other plans that I gotta do. Like, are you ever plans if you're working for some, for uh, for the viewers? Yeah, the, yeah, I'm definitely uh, working plans with viewers here. And we're, of course, watching NBA playoffs in real life. Real life it is, because that's what they know for. For the higher average, and for all the players. Now let's present the New Balance player of the game. This player goes to game four, CP3, Chris Paul. Chris Paul, he's got great scoring of his game. Careers as all it doubts. He's like the only tough guy that he has always been playing here with the Suns since last season. And he made it all the way to the NBA playoffs. Now he knows for himself, he can be definitely uh, heading our way down to the second round. Temple right to Alvarado. Screen again on Hernan Gomez. Back to is Marshall. Marshall hasn't played here before, but it's now time for his way to make him pay. Marshall right to Temple. Goes right to Hernan Gomez. And inside, two-pointer no good. Payne with the second rebound. And it's now a 45.3 rebounding percentage. Only 17 for tonight. Payne on Marshall. He goes inside, two-pointer, average, no good. Marshall gets his first rebound, but it won't be enough to pick up the play. Unfortunately for them, it is all over for the Pelicans to make their, to play here in each seasons. They've already got beaten up by the Suns in game one, two, and the last game, number three. Yeah, it's very hard. We, it's sad to see them go home, but it looks like the Suns are, are moving their way back inside the next the next bracket of the second round to face against the winning team. If it's in between the players of the, of the matchup between the Mavericks or the Jazz. Right now, the Jazz has already have gotten three games with a win here, including a double OT winner, Buzzbeer of Bob Bong Bogdanovich. Yeah, of course we know, because the all he has played here was like a tough to win and tough to make the game out last. Alvarado, back to Nance Jr. Back to Temple. 
in with the screen on our net, on Larry Nance Jr. Alvarado on Shaman, on Payne. Three for Temple. Off and a bound, rebound by Nance Jr. Five seconds to shoot. And they won't have the average. So that is it for the first round of Pelicans and Suns. The Suns are moving on to the second round to face against the winning team. Yeah, it's pretty hard because what they've done here so far, because the Suns are in the top seed, they are killers. And now it's time now to send you to courtside by David. David? Thank you, Kevin. First big win tonight. What do you think was the biggest factor? I mean, I don't know. It was just our defense. You know, obviously our offense fared off of it. Guys made open shots, but I think we really locked down defensively, and that's what we're trying to make sure is that we're a defensive team every night. Well, you were a defensive team tonight, Chris. Thanks for your time. Kevin? All, All right, David. Thank you very much. And also to OJ as much. It's time for him to go. And he has some other work to do for OJ. Yeah, that's right. Thank you guys so much for uh, joining with me. It's been appreciation so far. And I think you guys have the last games left, so you, you can give it all that you have. Yeah, of course, we'll do the thing that we can definitely do. And since you'll be leaving here, why don't you start with number three first? Sure thing. I'll start here for the first... Uh, for the first uh, player that I will uh, I will encounter for it through, I'll give that one a try. Number three we have here is the is the ultimate player of CJ McCollum. Six points, two rebounds, one assist. Only have been really uh, attempting him for his temptation and can be a little bit difficult on the range. But all his game was the best highlights for CJ McCollum. All right, Mifo, you're up next for number two. Thank you very much, here. Have a great night here, OJ. We'll see you again next time. You too. Number two, we have is JaVale McGee. Ten points in this game. Only two rebounds. And with all the pressures up, was two dunks. He's the only man for himself that he has been playing here on a hard most of the games. It's an average great steer score in there, Ron, their me phone. Always does. And for number one, all ticks out with a... Uh, with a huge rebound here and just killed all of them. It was DeAndre Ayton. 16 points, 8 rebounds, 1 assist, and 1 steal. And only 4 dunks had performed. It only took him for several of each games to be completed. Not for anybody, but he really dumped it. And that should conclude the second game in the Western Conference. And we will be back here for tomorrow for the Eastern Conference matchups here of the sorry the Celtics and Raptors along with the Sixers and the Bulls. But coming up later tonight, it will be the next one to be bringing back to a close on the run. The Cavs and the Bucks. We'll be around here for the third game we'll, while we take a quick break here in between me and me phone. And this has been a presentation of the second part of the NBA playoffs on NBA 2K22. So, until next time, we'll see you all in the third game of the season. And make sure to subscribe to my channel, because if you don't, somebody will. So make sure you do that now. And in the meantime, I'm out of here, and we'll be back here for the Eastern Conference matchups. Take care, folks. Good night, and the NOLA of the Crescent City here of the Pelicans. And they will be back for next season. And for the Valley of Phoenix, Arizona. They will be playing against the winning team in between the Jazz and the Mavericks. See you all again for the third and final game.